Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. I just want to mention uh, something about the drama in the park, uh, the drama that's at Hyde Park. And uh, if you look at uh, this video here, uh, you have uh, Abdul Hamid, and uh, he's got an issue with a guy uh, called Sarah. Coming here to the park all these years, I've heard literally every single insult you can imagine thrown at me in my face. And I have never reacted in a violent manner. Because I believe that if you can't handle hearing stuff like this, you shouldn't come to the park. Simple as that. But I be believe that as human beings, even... So he, he's got angry at... Uh, uh, a black guy called Sarah. Uh, so so uh, we'll get there we'll get there don't worry and uh, I'll explain uh, the context So basically there's been drama at Hyde Park for quite a few weeks now. And uh, so Sarah's done a video called My Response to Abdul Hamid, uh, the Hyde Park Terrorist. <laughs> I don't think that's a good title, Sarah, bro. Oh, you got to laugh at you. So this is uh, Sarah. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Come on now. Last time I checked, you had nothing to do with me being on this earth. So I don't care if you're disappointed in anything that I say. I don't care if you're disappointed in the fact that I reject your, um, your apology. I don't care. And you shouldn't care. You should just go along with your life. Do Give your dawa. Do your thing at Hyde Park. It's really quite simple. But you seem to keep wanting to keep my name and big bro's name in your mouth for some reason just take our names out of your mouth go and do your dawa and do your thing that's it we don't need to speak to each other i'm telling you family the reason why yeah that he's so upset in my opinion right is because he knows or a lot of um the dawah given Muslims at uh, Hyde Park, they want to convert a lot of young black men. Black men that are maybe a little bit vulnerable, maybe have gone to prison, maybe are on the road, maybe are into a life of crime that they don't really want to be into, and they feel like they can convert them to Islam. For what? In my opinion, to use them. To use them as, you know, cannon fodder, basically. Like, to use them as little minions, Right, to say, look, look, we've got a congregation of blacks and look, they're down with us. And if anything goes down, who are they trying to send? They're trying to send the black, the little black boys to go and do it, right? The young black men to go and do it. And I'm telling you, black men, you don't need to convert to Islam to be um, for family or, to, or for brotherhood. I know you've come from one brotherhood, which may be a gang, right? And gone into another brotherhood, but you can't bring the same energy. And what I find is a lot of black men who convert to Islam are bringing the same gang energy, yeah, into Islam, right? And it's like, well, if this is supposed to be a very peaceful, pious type religion, why are you bringing that rolled energy into uh, the religion? So that's Sarah, uh, is an interesting character. So here's my take on this drama in Hyde Park. First of all, as far as I'm concerned, I've got 100% respect for Sarah, and uh, I believe that he, he is honest, straight, and a man of integrity, and I greatly respect him. So, that's number one. Number two, he has beat in debate every single one of the Muslim apologists. He's wiped the floor with them. 
And so the problem with the Muslims down there is they don't like it. They can't cope with it. They're getting angry with it. And they're trying to silence him. They're trying to silence his free speech. They're trying to put down on him. They're trying to put pressure on him. And there are these people like this this uh, Abdul Hamid who come along and, and others, uh, Muhammad and others, who are stirring drama and want to create drama. And really what it is is they're trying to intimidate Sarah and stop him from having his free speech. Unfortunately, Hyde Park is not a caliphate. Hyde Park is for Muslims, Jews, Christians, Hindus, atheists, agnostics, and um, people like Sarah and other people to offer their free speech and to offer their criticisms, offer their positivity, whatever they want to say. They have that freedom to say it at Hyde Park. And what these Muslims want to do is control it. The second thing is about the Muslims is a lot of these Muslims that are attacking uh, Sarah are young Muslims and they're immature. You need to grow up and just chill out, get on with your life, do whatever you're doing and just cool down and, and forget about it. So that's my take on the drama with Sarah at Hyde Park. All right. As far as I'm concerned, I'm behind the guy. I love the guy. I think the guy's a great guy. I don't agree with his, his ideas. I don't agree with all this stuff that he goes on about. Uh, racism and, and defending the rights of the black people and all that. Uh, I, I, I think, uh, you know, all I know is I respect the guy, I love the guy. I don't agree with this religious view that he has, um, which is all about defending the, the race of the black people and, and stuff like that. Uh, I think uh, we're all one, black, white, yellow, green, you know, I don't make any distinction about your colour, whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm there to preach Christ. I'm there to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. But I will stand by Sarah and I will defend his right to have free speech. And he has been the most effective debater against the Muslim apologists down at Hyde Park. He's destroyed all the Muslim apologists. He's destroyed their arguments. And they don't like it and they're trying to pull him down and bring bring him into drama to try and dishonour and disrupt and to demonise his, his debating skills, which are pretty formidable. I, I, I mean, out of all the people to debate down at Hyde Park, the one person I wouldn't like to cross swords with, cross swords with is uh, Sarah, because um, I think he, he, he's very gifted. Um, so that's my opinion. Leave Sarah alone, let him get on with his whatever he's doing, and the Muslims down there, start being men, start being mature, chill out. It, you don't rule the roost, you've been found out, you can't hold your own in argument and debate, that's okay. Be a man, go and do some more study, come back and try better next time. It's as simple as that. But don't start bringing in drama at the park, just get on with your life and chill out and leave Sarah and uh, his posse alone. Alright, take care.